Here's some fiery drama brewing on the racetrack that's sure to leave you on the edge of your seats. We're diving right into the intense battle between Joe Gibbs Racing's Denny Hamlin and the formidable Hendrick Motorsports drivers. Before we witnessed the latest showdown at Richmond, some jaw-dropping moments in the last race led to this epic rivalry. Last week, Denny Hamlin shocked everyone when he led his friend Kyle Larson into the wall to snatch victory. The HMS drivers weren't too pleased, and they're now gunning for the number 11 Toyota. The crowd reaction at the 2.5-mile track said it all folks. Booze and double middle fingers welcomed Hamlin at the victory lane. It's clear he's now public enemy number one. But this isn't the first time Hamlin's ruffled feathers. His tussles with Alex Bowman, Kyle Larson, and Chase Elliott have left a trail of destruction and bad blood. They're not holding back in their criticism either. Alex Bowman minced no words, accusing Hamlin of manipulating air on the track. And Larson, well, he's not one to back down either. He had a stern warning for Hamlin, but he's still trying to keep their friendship intact. I mean, that's it's just as easy to crash somebody with air as it is um, running into them. So uh, that's just racing part of it and uh, just focus on being fast here this weekend. The HMS drivers are rallying together, and it's no wonder, considering Hamlin's past actions. Chase Elliott, NASCAR's poster boy, had his moment with Denny, and he didn't hold back either. Chase let his actions speak for him when he wrecked Hamlin at Charlotte earlier this year. It's clear these drivers are not taking things lightly. Now, let's talk about the rising trend we're witnessing in the Cup Series. Racing has always been about aggressiveness, but some say it's going too far. As Denny continues to embrace the villain role, tensions are reaching a boiling point. However, Bowman doesn't deny the aero advantage Toyota holds and maintains that it's all part of the game. I mean, you're still turning the guy around. I was plowing tight, and next thing I knew, I was backwards in the fence. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's just part of it. I think it definitely went away some uh, with this race car compared to the previous race car. I feel like the three manufacturers definitely manipulate air quite a bit differently than each other. Um, and, and the Toyota seem to be able to kind of manipulate that air more around the left rear of other cars than say I feel like I can, but um, yeah, just uh, one of those things. However, it's clear that Hamlin's style of driving has been a major contributing factor of these altercations. Aggressive driving has become the norm, and it's not just Hamlin. Drivers are pushing the boundaries more than ever, disregarding the spirit of racing. It's a high-stakes battle for the playoffs, and each race counts. It seems that HMS drivers are united in their mission to take down Hamlin, but Denny is no stranger to controversy. He's a seasoned veteran and knows how to handle pressure. Until next time, this is NASCAR in and out on Essentially Sports. Keep the pedal to the metal.